Hey, I'm Ben Bentley and today we are going to be unboxing a parcel that just arrived from Interfit. I'm one of Interfit's sponsor pros in the UK, so I'm amongst the first to try out what is going to be their latest addition to their line of strobes, which is the Honey Badger. So unlike the uh, S1 series, uh, this is going to be a strictly sort of indoor studio kind of strobe. It's a much smaller head in terms of physical size, but also in terms of power. We're looking at 320 watts. So I'm going to crack the box open and have a little look at what we've got in here. So, let's spin that around like that. Okay, so they sent me two heads by the looks of things. Let's grab this out. So, this is a box that you can expect to receive your Honey Badger head in. Uh, and as I said, it's a 320 watt head. Um, and they're obviously saying that we've got seven stops uh, of power control, which is pretty good. That's, that's, quite, that's quite a solid amount over, over 320 watts. So let's have a little look. Um, it also says that it's come boxed with a modifier as well, a 60 centimeter pop-up softbox, which is really cool. So if you are perhaps somebody who's investing in a Honey Badger as your first studio light, then essentially you've got, uh, you've got a modifier ready to go straight out of the box. So we've got a quick start guide there which I'm sure will be really popular because people obviously want to get stuck in don't they and try stuff out um, so let's have a little look oops there we go losing it already there we are so we've got the honey badger head itself which is actually a really great size um, bright yellow so that's always good high vis when you're in the studio it's nice not to lose stuff or potentially trip over it if it's laid down so that's cool um, yeah this is actually really really nice I saw the prototype of this at the photography show back in May and uh, yeah in my head I remembered it being bigger but this is cool I really think it's a it's a really good size for the amount of power that it's offering you so on the front here let's just release the cap there so yeah, so you've got the frosted dome covering over the actual bulb inside there, which is cool. So yeah, so as you can see, you've got the Bowens mount adapter there. So all of the other Interfit softboxes and modifiers will fit that. So I guess even if you don't already own some of those, the nice thing is that moving forward, if you end up having a Honey Badger and then maybe eventually an S1 or whatever is sort of comes along, in the future, then obviously you're gonna be able to interchange all of those modifiers that you already own or may go on to own with all of the flashes in the system, which is cool. So let's pop that back on there and just see. There we go, I made that look harder than it was. And let's just see what else is coming packaged. So we've got this additional black box here. So let's have a little look and see. Okay, cool. So in here, we look to have the all-important power cable, which is uh, obviously uh, fundamental with this one because this is going to be a mains powered only head. So unlike the S1s, which obviously have the lithium-ion battery option, this one is going to be strictly sort of indoor studio strobe, which is cool. So we've got the kettle lead there for that one. And there is also... Okay, so this is a, a sync cord. So the cool thing... For me, I guess, is that I obviously already use the S1 system, so I'm going to still be able to use my universal remote um, and be able to fire this remotely uh, using the existing remote I already have, which is cool. But alternatively, obviously, the cable is there as an option if you're wanting to trigger it that way. So this, and I've been warned this is a little bit vicious when I open this out. Let's have a little look and see. So, let's pull that off. That looks to be the diffuser panel. <laughs> yeah, they weren't kidding, were they? That is really, really vicious. Okay, so Joe is going to laugh when he sees this because he said those exact words to me. Um, yeah, this is a pretty cool sized uh, softbox, which as far as I'm aware, actually is going to mount onto the existing ring, which is already built into the design of the strobe. So I can't do it with one hand the way I'm holding it like this, or can I? Let's have a little look. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, so straight away, 
that is set up and that's ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed our unboxing of the Honey Badger. I know I'm really excited to actually start shooting with these and sort of get a feel for what they do in the real world. I think for me, the big thing is gonna be able to uh, utilize these um, in conjunction with my S1 head. So I know for a fact there are situations whereby I'll probably end up packing an S1 and I'll maybe end up packing two of these. Um, it's gonna be a much smaller bag than I would need if I was taking three S1 heads with me somewhere. So yeah, so these are gonna be a really, really cool tool to have in my bag and I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty confident that uh, people are gonna find a ton of a ton of ways to use these.